Hey guys, so we're going to look at what rounding and uh, formatting a document or a file with rounding, I'll explain what that is in a second, and how that affects the value of numbers in an Excel document. Have a look here guys, so we've got these numbers, all right, some of them have got decimals, some of them have no decimals, some have got two decimals, one decimal, or two decimals, or zero, five, zero, eight at the end, as you can see. Now let me show you what formatting it to make it have fewer decimals looks like and then we'll look at what using the round function does and see how it actually changes the value of numbers depending on what it is you're wanting to do. So I'm going to take these numbers here in column A. I'm going to copy them and I'm just going to paste them over there. Okay, uh, color it in again. There we go. So I've got these numbers now. So let me show you what happens. I'm going to go to uh, B2. And in my number group, I have an increase decimal option and a decrease decimal option. Now, if I decrease and I click, you can see nothing's happening because there are no decimals in this number. If I increase the number of decimals, there were no decimals, so it's just giving me zeros, as you can see. And each time I click, it gives me another zero. So there's one aspect. So the number, the whole number, doesn't change. So that's not affected, which is great. But have a look at this one now. So I'm at 86.78. And I'm going to go to, if I increase decimals, obviously what's going to happen after the 78? It's just going to be 780, 000. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to show you what happens if I decrease this now. So 86.78, I'm now just formatting the cell to display fewer decimals. I'm not actually rounding this number. I'm just formatting it to display fewer decimals. So have a look. I'm going minus one, so now it's 86.8. I'm gonna go one more time, 86 becomes 87. Now, although we can see 87 in the cell, if we look at what the actual value of that cell is, or the value in that cell, it's still 86.78. This has major implications if you're calculating something, especially if you're working with finances or statistics, you must be aware of this. Let's do it with the rest of these. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to decrease the decimals. Right, so now we've got 99.9 becomes 100. 99.99 becomes 100. But you will notice that as I click in any one of these, look at the value in the formula bar. All right, it's the original value. It's still there, even though we're seeing a different number. Very, very interesting. Let's see what happens if we use a round function instead. So I'm going to start from here. Oh, you know what? Sorry, Mr. 52. Let's put you with the others. There we go. I'm going to start in cell C3. And I'm going to use the round function. So equals round. Uh, the number, I'm going to choose the original number. There it is, 86.78. Click over there. And we're going to round it off to zero digits. And let's see what the number becomes. Zero. And enter. 87 okay good so far so good i'm gonna just take that down there we go so as you can see it's rounded it off now you might be thinking okay but they're the same let's check that out if i go here in column d and i go equals i'm just going to check what is the actual value of c3 if i click equals c3 and i press enter now this is interesting that says 87 whereas that says 86.78. So guys, when you are using the round function or you are using the increase or decrease decimals, be aware of what is going to be different. That says 87, the actual value is 86.78. That says 100, the actual value, 99.9. .9. So be aware of if you are formatting a number to display fewer decimals or if you are forcing it to be rounded to a certain number of decimals. That's the difference between formatting a number with decimals and rounding a number with decimals.